Alright guys, this is ridiculous. This is like one of the most ridiculous thrift store finds I've ever seen. Or I've ever found. Sorry. Uh, other people have some ridiculous ones too. Uh, look at this empty parking lot, by the way. Um, so, I went to work. It's now 7.43. The place closes at, you see? Closes at 8. Um, and uh, I worked till, you know, 5.30 or whatever. Then met somebody up here at like... I don't know, 6.30 to sell a couple games because, you know, I've been selling games like crazy. So, uh, I made 62 bucks on that. Uh, a couple, mostly handhelds. He was into Game Boy stuff, so I had a couple Zeldas and some other stuff. Um, uh, Link's Awakening DX. Uh, and then I had, like, Krusty the Clown and, uh... Yoshi and some other stuff. So anyway, that doesn't really matter. Um, so I figured uh, I'd meet him up at. Uh, he's in this town actually that I'm in now. Uh, so I figured I'd meet him up at the thrift store, and after I'm done dealing with him, I'd go in the thrift store and check it out. Now this thrift store has been finding some decent video games, but they usually overprice them. So I mean, this is the one that had a uh, like ten yard fight for like forty dollars. Um, it was, it was ridiculous, so, but this is where I found a power glove for, like, 25 bucks, um, so it's weird, like, they have weird pricing, so again, uh, as you saw, hopefully in the video that I attached to this, um, they had weird pricing again, so, uh, I don't know if you saw, Super Star Wars was $18.99, uh, Yoshi's Island, was twenty eight ninety nine, so they they like to charge stuff higher stuff for like Star Wars and and Mario stuff so which is fine so I'll pass on those but I'll take these instead. Um, actually, let me show you the regular stuff first and then I'll keep the good stuff for uh, the end. Um, this was cool. Uh, Earth's Mightiest Avengers uh, Volume One. Uh, it's still sealed. I got it for two ninety nine. Uh, it probably sells for about 15 bucks, 20 on a really good day, but I'm probably going to make about 15 And then after shipping, if I do free shipping, about 10 bucks, maybe 8 bucks, something like that, whatever. Um, picked up a couple uh, Game Boy Advance games because they were pretty cheap and uh, some cool titles. Uh, Sega Smash Pack. That was only $1.99. They had them for $1.99 or $2.99. Um, I guess Banjo-Kazooie Grunkies Revenge. I guess they know Banjo and Kazooie, so they raised the price on that one. Uh, $1.99 for Dragon Ball Z. Um, what is it? Supersonic Warriors? Alright, so then they had a whole bunch of S uh, Super Nintendo games, like I said, Super Star Wars 1899, Yoshi's Island. Um, let's go in order with, uh, I don't even know what order, but uh, Death and uh, Return of Superman, uh, 999. This is like a $40, $50 game. Um, it's been going up actually a lot, I guess, maybe because of the movies and, and everything else. Um, Castlevania 4. For $9.99. Really a uh, pretty good label. Um, I actually sold this recently. So, uh, no, I traded it away a long time ago and I never got another copy. So, this is cool to have. Um, Super Metroid, $9.99. Uh, I just got a copy of this, I think, in that, uh, that Super Nintendo lot I got with Mega Man X2. So, uh, this will probably be a recouper and I'll probably recoup for the whole thing. And then the most ridiculous find. Um, and I don't think I would ever own this game, and, uh, <laughs> it's just ridiculous that it's actually cheaper than the other games, but, uh, Castlevania Dracula X for $4.99, you gotta be freaking kidding me, um, pretty nice label, I don't even know if it's legit or not, I haven't opened it up, but for $4.99, uh, I think I'll chance it, so, 
Um, I can't believe this. This is, I'm still kind of like, what the hell did I just see? Like, and it's funny because um, a couple weeks ago I walked in here and uh, right in a video game case they had nightmare creatures and the guy was grabbing it right as I walked in. And again, there was somebody at this case right when I walked in, but they were looking at uh, electronics, like other electronics, like, I don't know, there was like a saw or some other crap in there. So I looked out that they weren't looking for video games. So uh, then I looked at the video games and I saw the Super Nintendo games standing up. So I wanted to look. I figured they'd be overpriced. I saw Yoshi's Island for $28.99, which is, you know, kind of whatever. But um, I already have it and I'm not paying close to retail for it. So I wanted to see what the rest were. I saw Castlevania was only $9.99. So that kind of piqued my interest. And then I saw Castlevania um, X just sitting there. I'm like, I gotta see what that is. So, uh, ridiculous find. Uh, I don't think I'll ever find anything like that ever again at a thrift store. Um, I don't know. Maybe karma's finally coming around since, uh, you know, life has been kicking my butt for a while now. So, maybe this is a, a bright spot finally. So, anyway, uh, that was it. So, quick video turned into like an eight minute video, but, uh, I, I had to just ramble on about this fine so that's it uh stormy sky is coming for the flea market which uh is tomorrow so that sucks because almost every sunday it rains now so um we had a, like three or four weeks good weeks uh and then it's just turned to rain again so i don't know apparently we're not allowed to go to a flea market and, and find stuff which is where I find a lot of my stuff now because I don't even go thrifting that often anymore because I've been selling everything. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Rob is out.